Good afternoon guys. So this chapter, we will be talking about chemical bonding and nomenclature. On this chapter, we will be talking about three topics. Our topic one would be about chemical bonds, Lewis symbols, and the oxide rule. Topic two, types of chemical bonds. And then topic three, chemical nomenclature. So on this chapter, we will be talking about topic one. Chemical bonds, Lewis symbols, and then the octet rule. So, let us talk about why atoms combine to form compounds. Why? So, the atoms combine to attain a noble or inert gas electronic configuration in order to complete their octet by formation of a chemical bond, either by sharing, losing, or gaining electrons. So, in short, atoms combine to attain stability. They combine so that they will be stable. Okay? They combine and form chemical bonds with other atoms to form molecules or compounds. Okay, when you say um, another atom, it could be their self or another different element. Okay? What is then a stable arrangement? Okay? When you say a stable arrangement, it is attended when the atom is surrounded by eight electrons. Okay? So when an atom is stable, it must have or contain eight electrons. Okay, so that is the octet rule. What is the octet rule? The octet rule talks about the states that each atom should have eight valence electrons to be satisfied. So if you are going to look at your screen, okay, oxygen has two, four, six valence electrons, while our hydrogen uh, have one stable electron, okay, or one valence electron. Okay, so in the state of water, we have H2O. We have two hydrogen and then we have one oxygen. Okay, so a hydrogen has one valence electron. So when you say two H2O, you have two H, okay, and then uh, that two hydrogen will share two valence electron to our six valence electron oxygen. Okay, so that will form um, H2O. So if you're going to see, look at your screen here, Okay. okay, if you're going to look at your screen here, okay, the ba it has one oxygen and then two hydrogen. Okay, so if you're going to look two, four, six, eight, so it has already eight valence electrons. So you can say na stable na siya, right? Okay, so that is the Lewis symbol. When you talk about Lewis symbol, okay, each Lewis dot Symbols consist of the chemical symbol for an element surrounded by dots that represents its valence electrons. The number of dots in the Lewis dot symbol is the same as the number of valence electrons, which is the same as the last digit of the element's group number in the periodic table. Okay, so like for our example earlier, H2O, okay, uh, the Lewis symbol used to visualize the valence electrons of an atom whether they exist as lone pairs or in bonds. Level symbol, keep in mind that based on the octet rule, most atoms need a total of 8 valence electrons to, to become stable. Okay, Though there are some exceptions, just like our hydrogen, they would only prefer 2. They can be considered as a stable element with just having 2 valence electrons. Okay? Also, you have to remember that one dot counts as one electron, okay? And one bond has two electrons. So when there is a bond between the two atoms, okay, you can say that they have they, or they share two electrons. You can count every bond as two electrons. Did you get that? Okay? So cada bond is considered as two electrons. So if you're going to count every bond, uh, each bond is two electrons, okay? So lone pair has two electrons that are not bonded that can turn to bonds when needed. When you say lone pair, it has two electrons that are not bonded. Okay, so yung lone pair is yung dalawang electrons isang side na ating atom na wala siyang bond. Okay? Okay, a dot, okay, as I said, is equal to one electron and then a bond is equal to two electrons. So if you're going to look at your screen, okay, the arrow there in the middle is the bond, okay? So this is the bond, okay? So you can say that each bond is composed of two electrons, okay? So if you're going to look at your screen, okay, in, in, in the middle, each bond is composed of two electrons, okay? 
Oh, each band of that is considered two. So, kung bibilangin mo yung band na yan, yung black band and yung red band, each of those is considered two valence. So, okay, one, two. So, two, one, two, three, four. So, that is four. Five, six, seven, eight. So, this is a stable. Okay? So, ganun din dito. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So, stable din ito. Okay? So, do we get that? Okay. So, how do we write Lewis dot? Okay? Number one, we have these steps to follow. Okay? Ginawa ko itong steps na ito para um, magkaroon kayo ng guide. Okay? First, you have to get the number of the valence electrons per atom, then add all. Then second, you have to identify the central atom, then surround it with all other atoms. Then number three, give single bond each between every atom and the central atom. And then number four, multiply number of single bonds to two, then subtract your original total ahead of time. Okay? Distribute the remaining electrons to other atoms, not still following the octet rule as lone pairs. Then, convert lone pairs to bonds to make double or triple bond if needed. Okay, so number one. For example, okay, get the number of valence electrons per atom and then add all. Okay, the easiest way to do it is by knowing the group of the element from your periodic table. Disregard the transition metals for a while. Okay, yung mga nasa gitna. Okay, look at your table of elements. Okay, labas nyo yun. Disregard the transition metals in the middle. And then, you have to number 1 to 8 from left and the number of valence electrons of all atoms under it. So, dito, okay, if you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, lahat ng nasa ilalim niyang elements, yan yung count niya, okay? So, the corresponding number of valence electrons indicated here, okay? So, ayan. Do we get that? So, kanyari, uh, under this, we have the we have one valence electron. Okay? Of course, that is just our hydrogen. Okay? And then, everything beneath this it has two valence electrons as you go on, so on and so forth. Okay? Here, everything under here has a stable uh, eight valence electron. Okay? So, uh, remember these numbers here, huh? That is very important for you to remember how many valence electrons do they have, okay? So, let's talk about the first step. Get the number of valence electrons per atom, then add all. For example, carbon is under number 4. We say that carbon has total 4 valence electrons. It has 4 valence electrons, okay? So, if you're going to draw that, letter C. Okay, here na pala, and your screen, letter C, and then of course, the four valence electron. Okay? Okay. To identify the central atom, so in here, you have to identify what is our central atom. Our central atom would be C, or carbon. And then, what does it say? Okay? Surround it with all other atoms. Okay, let's surround it with all other atoms. Okay, we have four hydrogen, right? Okay, we have four hydrogen. Then, of course, it says here that um, give single bond each between every atom and then the central atom. So, let's do bonds. Okay, now we have this. Okay, here. Okay, now multiply the number of single bonds to two. Then, subtract your original total ahead of time. Distribute remaining electrons to other atoms, not still following the octet rule as lone pairs. Now, try methane. Methane is written as CH4. Okay? So, where is your C? Okay? Your carbon says that you have four valence electrons. Okay? And then, your um, hydrogen here says that you have one. Okay, one valence electron each. And then, of course, it says here that we have four hydrogen. Okay? Okay, now we have to multiply the number of single bonds to two, then subtract your original total ahead of time. Okay? It says here that we have two, uh, okay, here, 
Okay, what does it say? Multiply the number of single bands to 2, then subtract your original number. So, how many single bands do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have 4. Okay, so uh, we have to multiply it by 2. So, we have 8. Okay, okay so um, it says to subtract your original total ahead of time. So, our original bands is... So, ilan ba kanina? Okay? So, kanina, we have uh, carbon. Carbon has 4. And then, we have hydrogen, which is 4. So, 8. Okay? So, 8 minus 8 equals 0. So, kailan, ilan pa yung kailangan natin i-bond na, uh, uh, na, uh, na dot? Wala na. Okay? So, we got the idea na ito na yung symbol. Right? So, ito na siya. Okay. So, how about the step number 6? Okay? It says here, convert lone pairs to bonds to make double or triple bond if needed. Okay? So, we have an example here. So, it's not methane anymore. Okay? We have two atoms of nitrogen. So, if you're going to locate nitrogen in our table, okay, it says here that nitrogen has five uh, valence electrons. Okay? So, let's draw that in a piece of paper. Okay, so as we have said, we have two molecules of nitrogen. So, let's draw our nitrogen, two molecules of nitrogen, okay? And we have found out that we have 10 valence electron, okay? So, we have 10, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, uh, you have to complete the entire 10 valence electron, okay? So, you have to distribute that. If you can imagine, dilagay mo siya dito, it cannot be. Lagay mo siya dito, it cannot be. How can you uh, complete the entire uh, valence electron that is 10? So, this is the time na magkakar na tayo ng triple bonds. Okay? So, yan. Imagine we have triple bonds. And we have talked about kanina that each bond is considered two valence electrons. So, if you're going to... Comp uh, to look at this, stable na kaya siya. Okay? So, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, this is stable. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, this is also stable. Okay. If you're going to write this another way, na naman, na, uh, to make it uh, para visible sa atin yung atoms. Okay? Diba? We have, each has 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ganito rin yung isa. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Diba? Uh, each has 5 valence electrons. Okay? Okay. So, if you're going to count, okay? Now, put the bands. Okay? Ganun din. Right? So, saan kayo mas uh, comfortable? Yung line na lang or yung if you're going to put the dots? So, this is how I do it eh. Okay? Okay. So, for your assignment on a one-fourth sheet of paper, Illustrate the Lewis structure of the following. Number one, our NaCl. Number two, CO2. Number three, NO3. Four, BeCl2. And number five, HCl. So this assignment will be passed next meeting. Okay? So make sure na pagpasok nyo next meeting, meron kayong one for sheet of paper with the following. Okay? So, that would be all. If you have questions, post them on our MS Teams. Okay, enjoy the rest of the day. Bye!